Okay, I came across something that uh, I didn't know about, and I should have known about it, but I didn't know about it. Um, they have these uh, thermo pile, thermo generators now, that will put out enough voltage and amperage to run a jewel thief. And uh, I had a new water heater put in, and uh, it had one of these uh, electronic circuits in it with a blinking green LED. And I asked the guy that installed it, I says, well, is there a battery that makes that LED blink? And he goes, no, it's a thermal pile thermal generator. And what they've done is they've taken this old, old idea of putting two dissimilar uh, wires together in a bundle, a great big bundle, and wrapping it up in one of these, it uh, looks like a thermal couple um, sensor, but it's actually a generator that generates now enough to run a circuit to control uh, fireplaces or water heaters or whatever. So anyway, I found it online. It was only like seven bucks and bought one. And darn if it doesn't run my um, penny oscillator here, which is a jewel thief, and I'm pretty sure it'll run a pulse motor. And that's where I think I'm going to go with this, is that some of my pulse motors will run way down around a half a volt if you give it enough amperage, and this thing will get the job done. Anyway, I've got a voltmeter here set up, a radio so you can hear the oscillator when it starts to, to go, and I'm just using my kitchen um, um, stove here for the heat source, but you could use a candle, or you could use anything else that puts out enough heat. I've got that going pretty good now, and here's the voltage coming up on the thing and this uh, is rated at uh, about 0.72 volts and I measured about 70 milliamps at, at that point but the uh, the oscillator kicks off at a little less than half a volt and uh, just a milliamp or so and this uh, penny oscillator will run and anyway here comes the the voltage climbing and you're going to hear this go off on the radio. It picks up the signal of that oscillator when it starts starts going. And you can see it's coming up real quick. And I've got the flame on pretty good here to heat this up in a hurry. But this is not the uh, Seebeck effect, the Felte module effect. You don't have to cool one side. You just got to heat up the whole thing. And uh, it generates electricity. And it generates enough electricity, like I say, to run these things that I built. Okay, here comes the oscillator. And there's the voltage on it. And there's the uh, LEDs on now. And this is this, uh, I call it the penny oscillator. It's a modified jewel thief is all that is. And that's the voltage uh, on the thermal pile right now. And this will climb on up. Um, it's rated at, like I say, about 0 0.72, but that's not really what the load is going to be on this thing. That's that's with the high uh, the high ohm resistor on it. That's what my loaded voltage is. And uh, this, these are on full bright now. Uh, unfortunately, it's daylight, so you can't see this, but this is on full bright. And that's the uh, loaded uh, voltage that the uh, thermal generator is putting out. And that's, like I say, that's with the stove on pretty high there. But a pilot light is how these work. Just the pilot light is all it takes to make this thing uh, go. And I'm pretty sure, like I say, this will run a pulse motor. And like I say, when I put this over on the uh, the amperage, I get about 70 milliamps. Let me turn the heat down a little bit. You'll hear the the, our, the uh, frequency go down as I turn the heat down here. 
turn the heat down on the stove. And there's the voltage dropping down. It's still on full bright. Like I say, at night this would be a better show, but uh, that's what's going on. Anyway, like I say, I'll give a link to where these, uh, you can get them on Amazon or uh, probably at a hardware store or eBay. And I paid um, about seven bucks, shipping included, on the thing. And like I say, it's it's enough juice to run uh, this quite nicely. The penny oscillator, a uh, jewel thief, of course, would run on that just fine. But I'm thinking pulse motor all the way. And then run it off probably um, either a tea light or a little alcohol uh, one flame stove. And uh, like I say, I was pretty impressed with... Let me kick this back up. I'll see what it goes here. Turn the heat back up on it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take the um, penny oscillator, turn it way down here. See what this goes on up to again. Uh, where you have this in the flame, by the way, was um, rather critical. The actual uh, generation of the power takes place at the junction of the dissimilar metal uh, wires. And like I say, they're all bundled up and they're probably put in series. And uh, there's a bunch of videos on how to make one of these thermal piles. And it's really, really, really old and not a really efficient way to convert energy. But the fact is that uh, it is a way to do it. And now they're, they're using these on hot water heaters, and my hot water heater has one of these things in it. So that um, uh, it's actually generating enough electricity to run a microcircuit and has this blinking green LED light that is operated by this thermal. They're called thermal pile thermal generators. I guess that's where it's going to be now. Let's turn this back on. And there's the there's the oscillator running again. Anyway, that's just uh, one of the things that I thought I would share with what I've uh, been working with. Thanks for watching.